Welcome to your Korea Update. I'm Army Sergeant Jessica Cook. The Army is known to fight wars on the ground, but this unit has another area of operation, the sky. Air Force Sergeant Lucas Morrow tells us how these soldiers keep Korea safe from threats in the air. You might remember these things lined across the flight line when you first landed in Korea. They're Patriot missiles, and their main purpose is to defend against attacks. Equipped with a sophisticated detection system, Patriot missiles are what leaders call a huge asset to the defense of Korea. And this gets right at the heart of uh, what the 8th Army Commanding General is, is asking us to do um, in, in preparing our forces to be able to fight at a moment's notice. Here at Suwon Air Base, South Korea, air defense artillery soldiers are in the middle of an exercise. So would troops be ready to fight tonight? Absolutely. E even before this, I think we were prepared to we were prepared to execute that mission, and this, this exercise is, just, is, is to validate that proficiency. So all of our launches are remotely controlled. I had a chance to get a closer sure look at how the Patriot the missiles States here on the field the work. The crew has full accountability of all personnel downrange. The, the main importance for us is uh, literally we are the first line of defense when it comes to um, any engagements and in intercepting these missiles. The, the canisters that we have here on the ground as well as Sounds the easy, uh, but soldiers agree that this job comes with serious responsibilities. Better train and be proficient at your job because, uh, you know, you're dependent on by a lot more people than you know. Air Force Staff Sergeant Lucas Morrow, Suwon Air Base, Korea. This five-day exercise is evaluated by several soldiers from the entire Pacific region. That was your Korea Update. I'm Army Sergeant Jessica Cook.